Hi everyone, I've seen lots of videos over the last few weeks about this new Batman Class 37. Uh, to be honest I didn't even intend to buy one but it looks so good in the videos and I were impressed with the sound so I thought I'd get myself one and see how good it was in real life. Uh, so there's so many videos already talking about all the features and demonstrating the sound, I'm not going to get too into that. I'm just going to show you some of the upgrades that I've made to mine. Um, I've tried to do upgrades that people could do at home um, and I've upgraded the speaker. Um, I must admit I've upgraded my sound decoder to a Lego Man before one. Uh, it's not because the Southwest Digital one that were in there were particularly bad. It's just that most of my uh, sound decoders are Lego Man before. Um, I've got used to where all the functions are. Um, I like all the features that are on there, so I decided to stick with what I know. Um, I already had a, a decoder lying around, so I've just decided to use one that I already had. Um, but if you are using the standard sound, as you've probably seen in other people's videos, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It is quite good, and it has got some useful features anyway, like drive lock. Um, I think it's got a manual brake. It's got... Um, one of the horns is playable, so there are quite a few things on there which you didn't use to get. Um, but yeah, I'll show you some of the things that I've done. First thing that I've done is I've unscrewed this from inside, um, and that's what the speaker were attached to. It was just one of these 20 by 40 speakers. Now, these speakers can sound okay, um, but they really need to be in an enclosure, and if they're not in an enclosure, um, all the air just escapes out of the back of it instead of coming out at front of it like it's supposed to. Um, I don't know exactly how speakers work, but I do know that if it's in a sealed enclosure it sounds significantly better. But you won't be able to fit that into this model anyway. So I've unscrewed this. As you can see, I've pulled the fan off. Um, and I've glued the fan. It's maybe hard to see, but I've glued it behind the fan grill. Um, all I did was put some little blobs of PVA glue on the the three blades which are closest to the edges of the roof um, and that holds it absolutely fine. Um, if anything it's better like that anyway because it don't rattle anymore. But the fact it's still in there just means that it still looks nice when you look through. Um, so I've done a couple of things to the model as well. So I've got a new type of speaker which I thought it would be a nice model to try it on. So it's a mega bass speaker, um, but it's a lot flatter than the mega bass speakers that I've had in the past. Um, so that's something that I've found to be really useful for this model because I've not had to take it apart to fit the speaker. The speaker itself, I just had to file the edge of the speaker a tiny bit because there's two raised parts on the chassis. And so to make sure that it cleared those, I just had to file away a little bit. Um, so I've done that, and I've also, the speaker has two screw mounts, one on each corner. But the one on this corner, uh, it just got in the way of the screw hole for the body. But that's quite fortunate really, because it meant that the speaker enclosure, once I'd taken that screw mount off, just curved around the hole. So it fits perfectly. And as you'll see in the video at end, it sounds really good. It's it's the best speaker that I've heard on top of a Class 37. And it probably sounds better than a lot of stuff that people put in the tanks as well. And obviously it's significantly less effort. Um, so I'd encourage you to try it. I think if you've got the standard speaker in there, you'll be pretty amazed what a difference it makes. Um, while I've been in the model, I thought I would paint the driver. So... You can probably just see that. Um, so I've, it's the standard driver that were in there, but I've hand painted it and I've put like a high vis jacket type design on him. Um, and then just to add to detail, I've put a high vis jacket folded up, hung over the seat. I was going to put a second driver in, but I couldn't find one, so I thought I'd just make do with that high vis vest. I've also got a little magazine which you maybe can make out is a model rail magazine and um, so that was just printed off the computer but I think that that just helps to enhance the detail really when you look inside 
you know, I've taken buffers off, but it's just because it was quite hard to get to the screws and I, I didn't want to damage them. Um, one of them came off while I was trying to do it and the rest I just pulled out and put somewhere safe. I've also changed the couplings to KD couplings. Um, I prefer these, I've got them on a lot of my stock anyway. Um, I did notice that the, the real 37884 has knuckle couplers because it gets used to drag DMUs and EMUs. Um, so it's it's more in keeping with that anyway because normally I wouldn't put one on the front but because it has that in real life I thought I'd put one on the front as well. Um, one other thing that I've done which I think will be really hard to see but I will try and show you. I've disconnected one of the cab light wires from here and what I've done is I've extended that wire around to auxiliary 2 um, there's no way of knowing that's auxiliary 2 other than looking at a wiring diagram but I've just really carefully soldered it onto the bottom of the socket and the reason I've done that is so that I can independently control the cab lights I know some people would rather have controllable tail lights but I'm not particularly bothered about that especially with there being a switch under the model anyway for the tail lights so for me I think it's more useful to have the the cab lights independent because it's more realistic if it's only on at one end and I'm going to program that so that it's got auto fade and it changes direction dependent on direction at locomotive so that's it really I'll do a video of it running round um, bear in mind that it's got an upgraded speaker um, so you'll probably hear the difference um, compared to some of the other videos you've seen and yeah it is a lag on on before sound decoder rather than the southwest digital um, but like I said there's nothing particularly wrong with the decoder that it came with it's just that I already had a lag on on before decoder and thought I might as well use it so yeah watch the rest of the video see it running round and if you've got any questions either leave a comment or you can send me an email and if you're interested in buying any of the speakers I'll put a link in the description for the video where you can get them from. Thank you for watching. <laughs>